Hi everyone, in this problem we have an arithmetic sequence and we're given two terms. We're given the sixth term, which is 12, and the tenth term, which is 16. And we're being asked to find the first term, which is a sub one. So an arithmetic sequence is one in which uh, each term, except the first term, is obtained by adding a number over and over again. That number is called D. So for example, to get from the first term to the second term, we take the first term and we add d one time. So you get from the first term to the third term, we take the first term and add d two times. So we need to first figure out d in this problem, so solution. So we have these two pieces of information. We somehow need to use these two terms to find d. Well, we know that to get a sub 10 from a sub 6, if we're at the sixth, sixth term and we're trying to get to the tenth term, we have to add d four times, so plus four times d. And so this is a key equation because this will allow us to solve for d. Again, if we're at the tenth position or the tenth term and we're starting at the sixth term, we have to add d four times. So a sub 10 is 16 and a sub 6 is 12. Then we have plus 4d. Now we can subtract 12 from both sides, minus 12, minus 12. That gets us 4 equals 4d. Finally, we can divide by 4. And so we have that little d is equal to 1. Little d is called the common difference. It's the number that we add over and over again. So to find the first term, we just have to now create an equation using any of these terms. Let's go ahead and use this one. So a sub 6, we're trying to get here from the first term, a sub 1. So if we're trying to get to a sub 6 from a sub 1, you have to add d 5 times. Notice how I always wrote the one, the one with the bigger subscript first. If you do that, you can always create equations like this. Uh, a sub 6 is 12. A sub 1, uh, well, we don't know what that is. We're trying to find it, so that's a sub 1 plus, and then 5 times, and then d is 1. So we have 12 equals a sub 1 plus 5. Now we can subtract 5 from both sides, and that gives us 7 equals a sub 1. And that would be the first term. I hope this video has been helpful. 